The next three to four decades will modify China's portrait in the most dramatic way ever. From building classic road networks, phenomenal skyscrapers and super-speedy rail networks to arranging ultra-high-voltage power lines, China has amazingly astonished the entire world. Now it's the nuclear power plant is China's crucial plan to transform the heavy dependence on fossil fuels to switching to clean energy. Without a doubt, China is heavily dependent on fossil fuels for the majority of its energy needs, but now it's high time for China to take steps and transform itself into a sustainable source. And guess what? China is already on the radar to opt for sustainable sources like wind energy, solar energy, and nuclear energy as well. But the twist here is unlike other countries. China is planning something out of the box which will leave all of us wonderstruck. Excited to know what their master plan is and how it'll help China to lead the energy scoreboard in the future. Let's take a deeper dive to learn about China's pathway to fabricating a more sustainable, secure, and inclusive energy future. The current situation in China is pretty confusing, as China, being the largest producer of clean energy, is still the largest consumer of fossil fuels in the entire world. Almost 60% of the electricity generation is carried out through coal and China is installing more and more coal power plants domestically. But this makes less sense when China is also on the radar to add more and more solar plants in the coming years. The next surprising fact is China is the second largest oil consumer but on the same page. This country is home to 70% of the global manufacturing capacity for electric vehicle batteries. The current situation or the facts which is glimpsed might lead all of us to a dilemma, sure or not. Here it's not exactly a dilemma but China's master plan to lead their renewable energy scoreboard. The past four decades were game changers for economic situations in China which eventually had an amazing effect on the country's growth. Hundreds of millions of people are now out of poverty just because of a few smart steps by the Republic of China in the past four decades. Taking into consideration the phenomenal growth in economic conditions and stable financials, now it's time for China to switch from the world's largest carbon emitter to the world's largest clean energy consumer. However, to achieve its goals, China needs to gaze on its primary problems which will help bring socio-economic stabilization to the country. Firstly, China being the largest greenhouse emitter is making the people of China concerned about the deadly air pollution, the quality of air is life-threatening, and it might even worsen if clean energy is not chosen. The next issue is China adopting clean energy measures like solar energy or wind energy and electric vehicles will not solve the issue entirely. China needs to tackle the gigantic amounts of emissions from its existing fleet of fossil fuel-based power plants steel mills, cement kilns, and other industrial facilities as well. And yes, the major issue with switching to sustainable energy is the budget. A massive amount of investments could only lead to China to continue being the world's leader in sustainable energy. It's nothing new as China during its global revolution heavily invested in constructing more and more industries, mills and whatnot. But this development was at great cost to China. All these lead to heavy energy demand, elevated consumption and power crunches. These huge demands lead to huge import bills of gas and oil, which obviously China wanted to walk away with. They wanted to be self-sufficient. So now the problems are already in front of China which needs to be resolved at a pretty good pace. Seeing this, now let's look at what is the current situation in China and what steps they have already taken to solve these major concerns. If we gaze at the worldwide figures, China is already leading in the renewable energy production figures. Obviously, it's not only China, but also other nations globally which switched to green alternatives. And surprisingly, in the past decade, more than 10% of energy was generated through solar and wind energy. Nevertheless, China is not only the world's largest producer of wind and solar energy, but also the largest domestic and outbound investor in renewable energy. Currently, China is just on its way to determining the global energy needs and taking steps accordingly in the future. They're not only being creative with the sector, but they'll be the king in it, as be it planning, processing, or manufacturing, China is trying to excel in all areas. Since 2010, China has amazingly walked on the planned roadmap of switching to better alternatives. And the results are super amazing as China has constructed wind energy equipment, solar panels, and other sustainable alternatives at non-competitive rates. One such area which amazingly showcases the wonders of China is Qinghai in western China. Being one of the sunny parts of the world and also a low-density population area, this area had a mega-project spread over almost the size of Singapore, with a massive solar buildup, a hydro dam, and a crazy number of windmills installed. This area in Qinghai is amazingly set up. Almost 20 gigawatts of energy is generated from these 
renewable sources. The energy is already generated in huge amounts, but what about the shipping of energy? How is China managing all this stuff? China has a mind-blowing solution for every problem. They already have built a giant network of ultra-high voltage power lines. This networking can easily help to navigate the clean energy from the west to the electricity needs in high demands in the east. Apart from that, China has not chosen the conventional AC power cables, but installed specialized direct current lines. This will help almost negligible wastage in electricity during transmission. And the interesting fact is these cables are used by only two countries, one in Brazil and the other in China. The next area which we already know China is leading is in fabricating the most affordable and sustainable EVs. Not now but soon in the future, China will be enjoying its leadership in exporting EVs all over the globe. So from all these excellent steps by China and its government, it's pretty clear that China is not only concentrating on transforming itself into a clear energy consumer but also trying its hands on the newest and most advanced technology. By doing this, China will earn trillions of dollars from the entire globe in the next few years. So to achieve all these in one go, they are keenly working on every small aspect be it manufacturing, new technology, smoothing of the supply chain or the final product. What are their future plans? China has an ambitious goal of achieving net zero emission by 2060, and their ambitious goal is heavily backed up by mega investment projects which will help in reshaping China's energy consumption practices. It is projected that within this decade, that is by 2030, China will be at its peak in carbon emissions, and after that the graph lines will descend dramatically, and China will achieve what no country has achieved to date, being a carbon neutral country. The next astonishing plan with China is to generate 1.3 terawatts of energy through wind and solar energy which will be enough to meet the entire demand of the USS electricity needs. But how is it possible to achieve such big goals in such a short period? A concept called firm clean power will be taking all the credits to achieve such marvelous goals in a really short period. Basically, this concept means generating clean carbon-free electricity without relying on natural factors like when the sun shines or the wind blows. And the solution which fits the best for this concept is nuclear-powered energy. Yes, nuclear-powered energy may not be highly buzzed because of its brownie points, but it's definitely underestimated because of regulatory problems, gigantic installation and management costs. And lastly, as well, as importantly negative opinions by the public, most of the nation is skeptical about nuclear-powered energy. However, it is one of the best alternatives for carbon-free sources of reliable power. But China has already realized its superiority. In taking advantage of this, according to the plan, China has planned to install 150 new nuclear reactors in the coming 15 years, which is astonishingly more than the number of nuclear reactors in the entire world. Amazing, isn't it? Now for the last, the other side of huge upfront costs cannot be ignored. But this problem with China seems an easy task, as China is known to be constantly involved in such massive industrial projects, completed on time and most importantly within the allocated budget. All these aspects gave a clear idea of what exactly China is into and what its master plans are. If everything falls into place, no one can stop China from being the world's largest producer of green energy and also the supplier of solar panels, turbines or windmills. Agree or not? So what are your thoughts on China's master plans? Will they achieve their goal of net zero emission by 2060? Do let us know your views in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching how China is planning to switch to clean energy, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next video.